Welcome to the Marine Channel, my name's David. We're at the Dusseldorf Boat Show on the Sunseeker stand for the world premiere of the Superhawk 55. Now the Superhawk name has become, I suppose, iconic over the years. First boat appeared in 1987 and over the years it's, it's graced the most sleek, um, streamlined and stylish boats that, uh, that Sunseeker have produced, appearing in Bond films and, and as I say, becoming iconic really over that time. Um, we're going to have a full tour of the boat and uh, we think you're going to like it, so come on, let's go and have a look. Right, as I hop onto this uh, amazing boat, the first thing that strikes you is the transom. Now, this isn't just a flat piece of fiberglass at the back. It's got some real character and some real um, detail to it. And I think it reminds me of uh, kind of a supercar or something like that. Um, we've got these insets here, which have got bits in. So we've got the shower in there, and obviously the lines go through there. Over this side, we've got similar sort of thing. The passerelle comes out of there. What we've also got the back here is a little hatch that lifts up, well not a little hatch, um, this aft part of the sun pad lifts up and provides storage as you can see for a couple of seed bobs at the moment or whatever else you'd want to store in there. Now this is a high-low platform and it's not just any normal high-low platform because the platform goes down but it actually goes down from here so this whole section goes down and these become the lower steps. It's a really cool mechanism and certainly something very, very different. Um, so let's go up on board and have a look. So the first thing we've got is this huge sump pad, which is obviously lifted at the moment to, to get into there, but that would be flat normally. And obviously here we've got the um, raised headrest, so if you're using a sump pad. These drop down obviously and become seating. Now the seating area here is something probably the most flexible seating I think I've seen in a long time. So we've got that side, which is either seating or the sun pad. We've got an amazing table here, which nice size drinks table, but it actually swivels around there and then unfolds to make a massive dining table. I'll just swivel that back. And the next clever bit is these seats out here, which at the moment they're kind of sociable, just lounging around seats. But if I pull this pin out here, they actually slide in and make this brilliant, huge, enclosed dining space. Just pop that back. You can lock those in various positions. Also behind here, plenty of storage. And this, the other side does exactly the same. Over here, great size wet bar really large sink there, nice griddle under there, under here we've got an ice maker, under here just storage for all your bits and bobs, and under here the fridge. Also here we've got a pop-up TV, TV pops up here. The, out, the living space on this boat really is just all outdoor, really great feel to it. Let's go to the helm because this is really special area. So, you'll notice that the helm is centrally mounted. It's not on one side, bang slap in the middle. Two seats either side, so quite sociable, and a fabulous view out the front. Two massive screens with a remote for those screens, We've got all the engine controls, and this has IPS 950s, by the way, give it a top speed of around 37, 38 knots. Controls for your thruster there, but being IPS, Again, we've got that joystick to uh, make berthing easy. Really nice feature on these. A little bit retro, come and have a look at these dials. They're like something out of an E-type. Really cool, and they can be configured to show any kind of information in there. So it's a really sporty feeling thing. And sitting here, it's just a great feel, just nice. Everything close to hand, even the screens you can just about reach. Let's go out of these doors here. Now these doors are quite a piece of work. Have a look at these hinges. I love a bit of engineering. 
So they'll close up, but give you access to the side. There's no deck going back there, which obviously makes the cockpit a little bit wider. But as we come up here, we've got really wide, safe decks to reveal this kind of seating area here. So you've got, two, you know, if you want to use it as sort of two bench seats, then there's that. But what this does do, party trick, is this whole area slides back to here and becomes one massive sun pad. So let's go forward, just quickly look at the bow. Two pretty chunky cleats up there. Love this inset lighting, part of the style. Really nice locker down there where you've got your windlass, chain locker there. And we've got a hatch into the fore cabin there. So just a, a fabulous socialising space. Right, let's go back and have a look at the interior of the boat. So we come down on a turned staircase into what is the main kind of living area, I guess, of this boat. And what you suddenly notice is all this glass. So we've got the usual hull windows, we've got the windows in the superstructure, but if we just look up here, we've got this massive glazed area above with this really funky, that looks like a Union Jack to me, um, lighting, which is just so stylish and so cool. On this side, Got a massive sofa, it's a really nice kind of lounging area, great view out of the windows with this, um, and a really nice feel. Over this side, we've got the interior galley, um, huge sink, nice four burner hob, oven down here, obviously. We've got a dishwasher in there, and just storage in there. So, not huge, but I guess this is an outdoor boat, this is about living outside. So it's, uh, it's, you know, this is, this is for when the weather's inclement or something like that. Right, let's have a look at the, the aft cabin, which is kind of midships. So it goes under the cockpit, so it does have restricted headroom over the berth itself, but plenty of room here. I'm 6'2", loads of headroom. But it's a really cosy place to be. You've got hull windows again. You've got plenty of storage. You can get down the side of the bed. And once you're in bed, there's no problem here, there's plenty of room. Got a really big flat screen TV built into the wall there. And loads of storage and space on these side areas for all your bits and bobs. Now in here, the boat has its own ensuite. So we've got shower, loo, and basin and that's really nice okay let's go forward into what is ultimately the master cabin so here we've got the center line berth this is in the bow so it sort of narrows but you've got plenty of room around the side of the beds easily hop into bed huge flat screen tv on the wall there plenty of storage and space for all your phones and knickknacks you've got usb charging here You've got little reading lights and you've got cubby holes for all your bits and pieces. Behind the door here, we've got a nice size wardrobe. And then into the ensuite, which again, beautifully finished. Walk-in shower cubicle, loo and basin. So that's it. This boat um, has just been launched here, as we said earlier, so it's the world premiere. The price is 1.395 million plus VAT. That's the starting price. Things like the hard top, as we see here, is an extra and various other bits and bobs. So that will ramp the price up. But that's not bad value. And this is a real character boat. It's an iconic boat with that name. And I think it's, it's got a really, it's, it's like a sports car, if you like. You know, it could be for a 55 foot boat, it could have more accommodation, of course, but this is, this is a sports boat. It's not a, you know, a, a big family cruiser. People who buy it will obviously be looking for a different type of usage. We hope you've enjoyed it. We love this boat. It's really cool. I think it's a bit like an E-Type. Um, and uh, if you have enjoyed it, please do subscribe to the channel. We've got lots more really cool boats to bring you. Um, do press that little bell button so we can let you know of anything else that comes up. Thanks very much for watching.